Welcome or welcome back Star Wars fans to the channel where we dive deep into the galaxy far, far away, picking it apart, pulling it, stretching it out to see what's underneath the surface. Today we're diving deep into the web of relationships that shape the narrative of the Star Wars series Andor. These relationships aren't just about love or attraction, they define the character's motivations drive the plot, and highlight the contrasting philosophies within the galaxy struggle. We're going to break down the dynamics between Cassian Andor and Bix Kaleen, comparing them to the unconventional bond between Cyril Karn and Dedra Miro. Through these connections, Andor reveals how intimacy, loyalty, and respect, or the lack thereof, shape the paths of the characters. But before I go on, Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I upload a deep dive into the Star Wars universe. Now, let's get on with it. Pull up a chair, turn on your favorite rock opera, and let's get on with Star Wars. Let's start with the complicated relationship between Cassian and Bix which is built on a history of shared experiences, hardship, and above all, an unspoken understanding, it's evident that there was once a romantic connection between them, but the relationship evolved, or perhaps deteriorated, into something different. Their interactions in the series show not just the remnants of that past intimacy, but also a quiet acknowledgement of each other's pain and sacrifices. And yes, before I move on any further, I do know that the video does not match what I'm talking about, and that's for a good reason. That reason? Because I don't like copyright infringements. Sorry. Just gonna have to deal with it. Just listen to me. You don't have to watch it. It's okay. Well, when we first see Bix, Colleen, and Cassie and Andor together, there's a sense of familiarity and trust, but also tension. Cassian's return to Ferrix with his risky plans throws Bix's life into turmoil. She's reluctant to help him contact the buyer because of the potential danger, yet she ultimately does it because deep down she knows Cassian. There's an understanding of the desperation that drives him, something Bix herself shares as she too feels suffocated by the limitations of life on Ferrix. The bond between Bix Colleen and Cassian Andor, however, isn't about a traditional romance or rekindling old flames. It's about two people who recognize the need for survival in a world increasingly hostile to those who live on the fringes. When Bix risks her own safety to help Cassian escape the Empire's reach, it's not out of some lingering romantic attachment. Well, not fully. But out of a mutual respect and a shared history, their relationship is complex precisely because it defies the conventional expectations of what we see in love stories. There's no happy resolution or dramatic reconciliation. Instead, it's marked by sacrifices that often go unspoken. Cassian Andor and Bix Colleen's past attempts at a romantic relationship ultimately failed, not because of a lack of affection, but due to the harsh realities they face. Cassian's life has always been filled with uncertainty, driven by the need to stay one step ahead of the authorities. Bix Colleen, while more grounded on Ferrix, shares a similar restlessness even if she doesn't outwardly show it. Their failed romance isn't a tale of lost love, but rather an acknowledgement that they could not be what the other needed at that point in their lives. There's a particular scene where we see the dichotomy of their relationship. Dichotomy. I love that word. I say it a lot. Dichotomy. Anyway, Cassian at a loss for where to go next, and Bix torn between wanting to help and knowing that aligning too closely with him brings danger. She's not just an ex-girlfriend, she's a survivor, someone who shares the scars of their turbulent world, and that makes their connection stronger than any fleeting romantic encounter. It's why, despite everything, they continuously come back to help each other, there's a silent understanding that both are unwilling to let the other fall completely, but neither can fully commit to saving each other. All right, switching gears, let's look at the polar opposite dynamic scene with Cyril Karn and Dedra Moreau. 
Their relationship, if we can even call it that, is far removed from the mutual respect that Cassie and Andor and Bix Colleen share. It starts out as a one-sided obsession with Cyril's attraction to Dedra, less about her as an individual and more about what she represents, power, authority, and a pathway back into relevance. Cyril's admiration borders on obsession, and Dedra initially sees him as a nuisance rather than a potential ally. He's a means to an end, providing her with information that helps her relentless pursuit of Cassian Andor and the broader rebel threat. What's fascinating here is that Cyril's admiration for Dedra is not reciprocated in the same way. Cassian Andor and Bix Kaleen share a deep-seated respect. Instead, Dedra Miro values Cyril for his usefulness to her cause, not as an equal partner. Interestingly, Dedra's tolerance of Cyril's behavior could be seen as a form of pity. She doesn't initially view him as a threat or a viable partner, but rather a desperate man who's driven to serve the Empire might be exploited for her benefit. It's possible that Dedra's decision not to have Cyril arrested for his early attempts to connect with her was born out of this sense of pity. His persistence, while unnerving, may have struck her as the pathetic act of a man clinging to any shred of significance in the bureaucratic machinery of the empire. This pity, however, transforms into a form of reluctant respect when Cyril proves himself to be useful and resourceful during the Ferrix incident. Cyril Karn's approach to Dedra Miro is informed by his own desperation and need to assert his significance. After being dismissed from his position, he clings to the hope that aligning with Dedra Miro will restore his status. His attraction to her is laced with a hero complex. He views himself as the savior who will help Dedra Miro capture Cassian Andor and suppress the brewing rebellion. But Dedra's interest in Cyril is purely pragmatic. She acknowledges his potential as an asset, but not a partner. When Cyril saves Dedra during the chaotic uprising on Ferrix, there's a shift in their dynamic. It's in that moment, as Dedra struggles against the crowd, that Cyril's obsession becomes a lifeline. This act of saving her isn't just about devotion. It's an assertion of his belief in his own importance and a bid for acknowledgement. Dedra Miro, rattled by the experience, finds herself indebted to Cyril, even if that indebtedness doesn't translate into genuine respect or romantic interest. The relationships of Cassie and Andor and Vix Colleen compared to Cyril Karn and Dedra Miro highlight different motivations behind the characters' interactions. With Cassie and Andor and Bix Colleen, there is a common cause, a shared understanding that grows out of their mutual experiences and hardships. Their connection is born of a history of shared suffering and perseverance. Even though they might not openly acknowledge it, the rebellion's ideology resonates with them because it represents a fight for a life free from oppression. Cyril and Dedra Moreau's bond, on the other hand, is more self-serving, at least initially. Dedra is single-minded in her mission to climb the ranks of the Imperial Security Bureau and crush the rebellion, while Cyril is driven by his own need to feel valued. Their connection lacks the mutual respect that defines Cassian and Bix's bond. Instead, it revolves around a transactional form of respect. Dedra's growing appreciation for Cyril's dedication only arises when he proves useful by saving her. The rescue scenes involving Cassian Andor and Bix Colleen versus Cyril Karn and Dedra Miro reveal fundamental differences in their relationships. When Cassian rescues Bix, there's a palpable sense of urgency and genuine concern. Cassian's determination to get her out of captivity goes beyond mere obligation. It's a deeply personal mission. The sight of Bix's broken state after being tortured by the Empire is almost too much for Cassian to bear, driving him to risk everything to get her to safety. It's a moment that shows the depth of his feelings, perhaps not romantic, but certainly grounded in a sense of shared suffering and a refusal to let the other fall. 
In contrast, Cyril's rescue of Dedra is more about seizing an opportunity than selflessness. While Cassian's actions are driven by a connection forged through hardship, Cyril's actions stem from his belief that saving Dedra will earn him the respect and recognition he craves. The way Dedra responds afterward is telling. While there's a newfound acknowledgement of Cyril's value, it doesn't carry the same emotional weight or depth as Cassian and Bix's bond. It's a practical appreciation rather than an emotional one, hinting at the power dynamics at play. The show leaves us with hints of a potential affair between Cyril Karn and Dedra Miro, especially after the Ferex uprising where the intensity of their shared experience could lead to a more intimate relationship. The look in Dedra's eyes after Cyril saves her suggests a possible shift in her perception. She sees more in him now than just a nuisance or an asset. Whether this translates into a romantic affair is yet to be seen, but there is definitely a shift in the dynamic. An affair between Cyril Karn and Dedra Miro would be more about power than genuine affection. Their union would symbolize an alignment of ambition and a shared belief in the Empire's order. It would be a stark contrast to Cassian and Bix, whose relationship is grounded in shared vulnerability rather than a quest for dominance. An affair between Dedra and Cyril would serve more as a means to an end, using each other's strengths to further their goals within the Empire. The nature of their relationships in Andor reflects the broader struggle between the Empire and the Rebellion. While the Empire fosters bonds based on power dynamics and control, the Rebellion cultivates relationships built on solidarity and shared purpose. Cassian and Bix's relationship illustrates the essence of the Rebellion, built on mutual support, shared suffering, and the determination to overcome oppression. Their connection thrives because of romantic ideals, but because they have seen the hardest sides of life together and emerged with an unspoken pact to protect one another. On the other hand, the dynamic between Cyril Karn and Dedra Miro is emblematic of the Empire's nature. Their relationship, while possibly evolving into something more intimate, starts as a transactional exchange where mutual usefulness supersedes genuine emotional connection. It's a reflection of the cold, calculated ethos of the Empire, where relationships are leveraged for gain rather than fostered out of genuine care or mutual struggle. If an affair does develop between them, it would likely be steeped in the pursuit of power and control, with each using the other to climb the imperial hierarchy. So what do you think? Are we seeing the beginning of something deeper for Cyril Karn and Dedra Miro? Will Cassian Andor and Bix Kaleen's relationship evolve in the face of the growing rebellion? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And now, another really quick word from our sponsor, and that sponsor is me. I pay for the stuff around here, and as a special treat, I have two subscribers that would love to be acknowledged as sponsors, so I'm going to give them that moment. The first is LedKitty73. Thank you so much for the reply on that. I really appreciate it. And the second is Bobway. Thank you so much, guys. And yes, you are sponsors. You're all sponsors because without you guys, this channel would not be possible. So I thank you and appreciate you. Until the next time, this is Gerald, a Star Wars fanatic, signing off, wishing you all great health, happiness, and peace. Thank you all for watching. And remember, may the Force be with you always.